Statistics is a distinct mathematical science that pertains to collection of data, its presentation, analysis of data, and then drawing inferences from such data. So let's get started with terminology used in statistics. And the first thing we discuss is population. Population is the whole for which the information is required, while part of that whole is called sample. And the process of selecting the part from the whole or from the population with the belief that the part selected will exhibit all the relevant characteristics of the population is called sampling. While the word census means that examining the whole or complete enumeration of the population units for drawing an information about population is called census. There are few types of sampling. The first type that we use ordinary is simple random sampling. A simple random sampling is a process of sampling in which each sampling unit or each unit of the population has equal chance of being selected in the sample. There is another method for drawing the sample and that is systematic sample sampling. In systematic sampling, we start randomly. So we pick up the first element randomly and then from that point onward with a fixed interval we continue to select sampling units to be included in the sample and that type of sampling is called systematic sampling. For example, if you have to select 10 people from 1000 people, then you can just pick up the first unit with random start. Let's say that first person you are going to select is the person number 157 and then every hundredth person like 257, 357, 457, those they will form your uh, sampling unit to be included in the sample. This type of sampling is called systematic sampling. And stratified random sampling is used for the population where the population are heterogeneous means that the population are not homogeneous all the sampling units are not same in such cases what we do is first we separate those sampling units which belong to a one particular group so the entire population is divided into different groups based on certain criteria for example if you are to do a stratified random sampling in Canada, then based on the ethnicity, it's not that uh, we are trying to do a racial profiling here, but in fact, there are commonalities within cultures. So therefore, Canada being a multicultural society, we separate those groups based on the ethnicity and then select a proportionately number of units from each of those units to be included in the sample and that is what makes stratified random sampling and now we are going to discuss that what are the advantages of sampling over the census well the first advantage of using the sampling method to obtain the information from sampling units is cost. The sample being a part of the population is less expensive to achieve the information from the sampling unit. Therefore, it is less costly to obtain the information by using sampling. And another factor that might affect our consideration is the time. More time is required to process more units of the population for getting the information. Therefore, it is obviously saves time to get the information using sampling techniques. 
And similarly, there is another factor that we may consider is respondent in uh, respondent's convenience. If we were to do a complete enumeration like a census, then it will be very inconvenient for every so, uh, population unit to participate in the process of information gathering, while in case of sampling, only a portion of the population is to be concerted. Therefore, it is convenient for the respondents to participate or to give the information using sampling. And the next factor we are going to consider is the flexibility. In certain type of investigations, very skilled workforce or specialized equipment is required to produce the information. For large population size, it is not possible to make these arrangements. Therefore, sampling is used to get the information. And that's what makes sampling as a choice of flexibility. So data processing is another factor. Data processing needs for a part of the population are less than census. Now accuracy, that's another factor. For investigating only a part of the population, highly skilled personnel can be engaged to produce quality information, eliminating all errors. Therefore, accuracy of information increases by using only a part of the population and the last factor that we are going to consider is feasibility. There are situations where sampling units are likely to damage in the process of gathering information. Sampling is the only feasible method to draw the information. For example, if you were to measure the stress which you can put on the glass which is being produced in a glass factory. It is very likely that while using the force to measure the stress, the unit, the glass is likely to damage. If we continue to produce the glass and then continue to stress it and damage it, what are we trying to achieve here? Therefore, sampling is the only feasible way to measure the stress on the glass. So these are all the factors which are considered while using sampling over complete enumeration or census. But there are situations, for example, the census is done after every 10 years in every almost every country. And again, if the population is small and the population units are easily approachable, we can conduct census and then that will be the method for gathering the information.